Hello everybody, so I'm currently away in Norfolk, um, but it's horrible weather today, it's raining, um, and so I decided to watch Creep. Why, it's in this house today. So, Creep is the story of this guy who gets his found a ad on Craigslist which says that he will get $1,000 to film a guy for a whole day um, who called Joseph, who's played by Mark Duplass, and then Patrick Bryce is Aaron. Patrick Bryce is also the director of this film. Patrick Bryce and Mark Duplass wrote this together. Creep is a film that I'd seen a lot of hype about. It played at film festivals, it played at Fright Fest last year, um, and I missed it at Fright Fest, but I'm glad it finally got added to Netflix. Um, because I heard such hype about it, about how the ending was so creepy, about how the ending was crazy and stuff. And Creep is a really great little entry into the found footage genre. The found footage genre is something that still needs to find its feet. And it's been around for a very long time, but it's something that still needs to be developed more. But this is something that does really, really great stuff. What it does, it, it is creepy. And Mark Dupress is great as Joseph, this weird, creepy character who th finds it funny to jump out at Aaron all the time um, to tell his life story. He tells a very disturbing story at one point that's quite messed up and you don't truly, truly know if to trust this Joseph. And Aaron, um, played by Patrick Bryce, the acting isn't incredible on his part but it does work at moments. There's one moment where it doesn't feel as completely natural as it could but it works but Mark Duplass is absolutely great in this film he's just creepy and weird there's one scene where he just has this whole wolf mask on and it's very very strange the good thing about this film is the trailer um, that I watched made me believe something else and I was like oh I've already seen the ending I already know what the ending is gonna be but the way they do the trailer they do it in in a way that you watch it and you will steal this, like, they make it look like that is how the film goes the whole way through. But it's a film that, <laughs> that the scenes that they show in the trailer are completely different when you actually watch the film. There's a very horrible scene around at the end that looks very realistic. And this is the first film in the Creep trilogy. I know Patrick Bryce and Mark Dupas are doing more to these films. The Creep trilogy, Cre Creep Turn 3, have already been announced, so I'm interested to see what they would do there. Sorry if you can hear the rain the whole time, it's horrible weather today. Um, but yeah, just, Creep does only get a 3 out of 5 from me, because um, there's some little problems and stuff, but for a film that's an hour and 17 minutes long, it keeps you intrigued the whole time, it's very interesting, the characters are people that you want to learn more about, you want to know, like, Aaron is a, is a guy that wants to get out of what's happening in the, in the situation and stuff, but he, it's just there's things that carry on and creepy moments and yeah I, I'd say Creep did have a lot of hype and for me it, it has lived up to it it's not as amazing or, or brilliant as I'm hoping it to be but it's still a great film and it's still a great entry in the found footage genre and I'm, I'm excited to see what else they do with this trilogy because this for the first entry is interesting and I would like to see what else they do with the, this ca these characters and stuff and see what Mark Duplass will do if he's going to be in the sequel and stuff. So just have to just have to wait and see and see what Patrick Bryce does with the rest of this. So that's my review of Creep. Um, yeah, 3 out of 5 from me. If you've seen Creep, send the comments down below. It is on, I think it's on every Netflix now. So if you have Netflix, definitely, definitely check it out. Um, it's a better entry in the found footage, one of the better entries had found footage in a long time. Um, it is like, there's two films called Creep, there's also the London Underground film called Creep, but this is the Creep found footage movie, so yeah, check it out. Um, it has a 20, I think it got shown at some film, 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 uh, got shown at some film festivals last year, um, but then got released this year. But I'm babbling on right now, but definitely check it out. That is all from me today, thank you very much, and I'll see you again very, very soon. Goodbye.